How y'all doing? Paul Ryan, your host of the Across the Cowboys podcast, coming at you a little late tonight, so forgive me on that, guys. A lot of uh, Cowboys talk today, man, as they were meeting with players formerly at the Combine, or most notably wide receivers. A couple, uh, just off the top of my head, Brian Thomas Jr. out of LSU, Troy Franklin out of Oregon, speedster guy, uh, Adonai Mitchell out of Texas, wide receiver, and uh, Keon Coleman out of Florida State. That is Foots the King. That's his guy. And uh, they also met with uh, Xavier Worthy out of Texas, another Texas receiver, and uh, Javon Baker out of uh, uh, Central Florida, who is somebody in fantasy circles are really, really excited about. Um, What I wanted to talk to you guys about tonight was which wide receiver or what type of wide receiver do do you think would be best suited to play alongside C.D. Lamb. Um, You know, I haven't given up on on, uh, Jalen Tolbert by any means, but is he ready to step into a wide receiver two role, or is he better suited for wide receiver three? And that's still to be determined. Um, We saw what Brandon Cooks was able to do, a veteran presence, a speedster who can do uh, a little bit of everything. And then we know, of course, C.D. Lamb being the alpha wide receiver who can play slot, had a lot of success there and play on the outside. Uh, but, you know, a big strength of his is his yard after catchability, a.k.a. the yak. And with a guy like C.D. Lamb and in an offense like this, you know, uh, we started to see that C.D. Lamb became the focal point of the offense. And I don't know, you know, not taking anything away from C.D. Lamb, but how much of that was because we didn't really have a run game established. You know, I don't think it might be had that much, but it would have been nice to see a, you know, a run game, uh, our, our run game have a little bit more success in certain games and things like that. And I, you know, Jerry Jones actually mentioned that earlier today when talking about Tony Pollard. But again, uh, when we saw the offense really clicking and we, you know, I felt like their offense really started clicking when Brandon Cooks got going and we saw the emergence of, of Jake Ferguson, so uh, I wanted to know, again, what, what type of wide receiver do you think better would best complement C.D. Lamb? You know, I thought maybe even Michael Gallup would have a lot more success last year with Brandon Cooks being added to the mix, kind of, you know, allowing Michael Gallup to have the uh, corner, the corner, uh, the third best corner on the defense covering him. And, you know, Michael Gallup didn't have that great of a year statistically, but we know that probably things that don't we don't see in the stat sheet are, are where Michael Gallup had a lot of his his success but you know if I were to pick the type of receiver that I think would be best suited next to CeeDee Lamb I'll have to go with speed man uh you know those clear out routes long balls things like that I I think that would be what would best complement CeeDee Lamb because we know uh CeeDee Lamb can eat up the middle of the field we know Jake Ferguson can we're hoping that Luke Schoonmaker can as well. Luke Schoonmaker, excuse me, can also, uh, you know, be a, a scene target for Dak, like like we saw Jake Ferguson be last year. Um, so if I were to, if I were to pick a wide receiver, I'd want a speedster. I don't know if we have to necessarily take one at pick twenty four, but that's kind of what uh, I've heard some people saying, predicting that maybe the Cowboys will will target that at tw- pick 24. So uh, I was reading some tweets from Nick Harris, and he's kind of getting the vibe that the Cowboys might take a best player available approach. And I'm always for that. And I know uh, my guy C.D. Piglet, that's his approach in, in every draft as well. Um, so, you know, and the Cowboys, hey, you look at the last four years in the McCarthy era, they've been good about doing that. So it'll be interesting to see. Again, guys, you know, I'm excited for the offseason. Um, I'm running out of time here, so be sure to subscribe to the Across the Cowboys podcast. Follow my guy, C.D. Piglet, uh, greatest co-host in the world. Follow the uh, conductor of the Ferguson, Jake Ferguson Hype Train at Brennan underscore Smith. And follow me at Paul underscore Ryan 15. And again, make sure to subscribe to the podcast. You guys have a good night.